And Ben, as you can see behind me, not much of this home remains. You can actually see right through it. Now, Ruben Castillo lives at this home. He and his brother were outside when a neighbor alerted them that their home was on fire. Oh, it's total fire. Total. Roberto Castillo describes the scene of his brother Ruben's house on Torringford West Street in Torrington. The two were outside at the time when the house caught fire. Firefighters rushed to the scene just before 2 p.m. to see the house in two cars fully engulfed in flames. Also, they were encountering with the uh, main electrical service so the house had burnt off the structure and was popping. While firefighters aggressively battled to contain the flames, a second fire came in just two miles away on Clark Street. You know, they made an aggressive attack up the stairwell um, and, and held that fire intact until we got more, more manpower to come in and assist. The home was Roberto and his other brother Miguel's. They drove over to find it gutted. Everything I lost. Oh, terrible. Terrible, you know, because I want to hide, you know. I don't like it. Not right now, I, I don't have any, any clothes. Not long after the flames were put out, a third fire was called in at an abandoned factory on Summer Street. Fire crews split in order to handle all the calls. We have to rotate crews constantly because these guys get beat up. Torrington police took a person of interest in for questioning, but have not confirmed if the fires are related. Although Roberto tells Fox 61 he believes it could have been a family member that set fires to their homes. Now, as you can see, this investigation is still ongoing tonight, and Roberto and his brothers did come back here not long ago to check things out. They tell me that they're completely shocked that this happened to them. Roberto does tell me that the Red Cross has offered a hotel room for the three of them to stay tonight. Right now in Torrington, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.